Hello, this is Bob Shore from Nancy's Knickknacks. And in this video, we're going to introduce you to a number of our new products here, namely the uh, Heavy Duty Swift and Heavy Duty Skein Winder. In this image here, you can see the uh, electric version of the uh, Skein Winder. Um, this is a prototype. The final production will be available later this fall, 2010. But you can see that uh, you know we have it on low speed right now just to demonstrate the fact that uh, it's under motor control. And to the right of that, you see the uh, you see the Swift. And beyond that, we have the electric wall winder, which we've had for a number of years. But together now, these products form a pretty comprehensive set of winding tools for fiber artists. Here you can see the motorized uh, skein winder at high speed. That speed is about 128 RPMs. And if you're measuring a two yard skein, or winding a two yard skein, that would be equal to 256 yards per minute. But that only tells part of the story. You know, not only is the length an issue, and you always want to make sure, you know, your unit will wind a reasonable quantity of yarn in a certain period of time, you want to make sure it'll pull that yarn from whatever it's pulling it from. And this particular unit has a high torque motor, uh, doesn't have uh, any unusual pulleys or belts that it requires, and many units you'll see a huge uh, pulley that they use to get the leverage when they use a weaker motor. This motor doesn't need big pulleys. We have a one-to-one -one ratio on the pulley, and uh, it's a quarter inch drive belt. So the motor's got all the power that it needs and the pulleys and the belts uh, support that without being out, uh, oversized. As I mentioned, this is a prototype, so it's not in its final state. We're actually supporting the motor with a wood support structure. That'll be uh, sheet metal, painted sheet metal in the end. And it'll have a completely enclosed motor housing with another uh, sheet metal covering. The other interesting thing about this design, like our ball winder, is that if it were to hit a snag or something uh, on the supply of yarn, whatever's feeding the yarn to the unit, the belts will automatically slip. Also on this design, we will have a knob in the front. The user would loosen that knob and they could then push down, pull down or push up the motor support bracket and that would put more or less tension on the belt so if you wanted to vary the tension on the belt to get more drive yes. so that's going to be a really user friendly system where you loosen the uh, knob on the front once you loosen the knob you'd be able to slide that up and down and that would increase or decrease the tension on the belt if for any reason you wanted to disengage the motor uh, you would loosen the knob that I spoke of earlier on the column slide the motor assembly up, undo the belt, retighten your knob, but basically you would be disengaging the motor completely which would then allow you to use the handle to turn your skein winder. Our neat little counter system also pivots or tilts. You loosen the knob and you can slide it back. On the Swift unit I have a pre-production rotator plate design which allows us to move at 60 degrees. On this skein winder though we have the new 90 degree slot. So we can actually turn that unit a total of 90 degrees. Of course we also have our floor stand which both of these units will easily fit into. You simply remove the unit from the tabletop stand which is that unit there. And to move it back, you simply grab a hold of it, lift it up, pop it into the tabletop unit. Okay, we'll wind a uh, skein onto the ball winder. I've just placed the skein on the swift. I run the yarn through to the ball winder. And we'll let it wind right now.
you can see that I had that in a fairly narrow width table set up. It's approximately 26 or 28 inches wide. Goes back about a foot. So if you had a space that was uh, sturdy, it has to be sturdy, of course, because these are heavy items. But it can be as, as small as 26 inches uh, wide and a foot deep. And you can fit both the uh, skein winder and the uh, ball winder on one surface. You'll notice they have the swift turned on an angle. That's one major advantage of this design. We're able to rotate. We're able to rotate it on that plate. Here it comes to the end. And you'll notice that by loosening these knobs, I could turn the Swifter skein winder a total of up to 90 degrees, 45 degrees in either direction, and then re-secure it. So that helps tremendously when you have, like for example, our ball winder, which goes back into the table so that the post is indented from the front of the table. You can see how easy it is to adjust the uh, the yarn guide for your skein measurement. You know, you basically just line up the lines. If I was making 1.5 meters here, and you do that on each of the uh, each of the arms. We use a 5/8 inch diameter steel shaft, which is oversized. We also use Igus bearings that are made in Germany. There are special high-tech bearings that continuously lubricate the shaft and need no maintenance whatsoever. The design of the unit uses an aluminum extrusion in which the sled slides back and forth and you apply the brake and that stops it in place. We then have a dowel that measures five and a half inches of clearance between the end, uh, end protector and the plastic uh, guide plate. So you have five and a half inches to put yarn. You can see how easily this turns. I'm going to spin it, you know, with a reasonable amount of energy and you can see how many times it continues to go around. So it's a very efficient design. By using the aluminum we reduce the weight significantly and by using those special bearings um, we're, we're able to pull you know, a reasonable size load on there without adding any significant weight for the structure itself. Of course, I was just demonstrating it without these clamp locks on, which I do not recommend. They're very easy to put on. You can see they're very large. And they securely hold the Swifter skein winder to the table that you have it mounted on. So always use your clamp locks. Of course, you can team up the um, skein winder or the uh, Swift with our motorized heavy-duty ball winder. And then you really have a complete winding solution.